Rumors have it that NVIDIA might be releasing an RTX 5080 Super GPU with 24 gigabytes of memory. Now, if you're enjoying my content, I usually produce a video every single day. You can give me some further encouragement to continue to do so by doing what is above here, like, share, subscribe, and comment, but don't forget to hit that notification bell. Now, the current RTX 5080 video card comes with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and that is really the sweet spot. And that card is expensive, and also keep in mind that the RTX 50 series in general are plagued with driver problems, quality control concerns, melting connectors, melting cables, and prices that are absolutely insane. And speaking of price, the RTX 5080, the one that has 16 gigabytes of VRAM, is very expensive. And of course, if there is one available that has 24 gigabytes of VRAM, it is going to be obviously, more expensive. Now, what is this going to be called? Well, it's rumor, it's speculated to be called either the RTX 5080 Ti, or Ti if you prefer, or the RTX 5080 Super. Now, there is some talk, according to this article, that indicates that putting 24 gigabytes on the current printed circuit board should not require significant modifications so this is encouraging, definitely, because if it is relatively easy to do so, maybe some of NVIDIA's partners will, in fact, do this. I mean, they certainly will if they can get some extra coin for it. Now, again, this is all rumor and speculation about a 24 gigabyte version of the RTX 5080. So please keep that in mind. It would be good to see, but... But NVIDIA really needs to get their poop together and figure out the driver concerns and all the other concerns with, well, all of the RTX 50 series, in my opinion, before we start getting more versions and more options of video cards. I mean, there are so many options these days for everything. It is overwhelmingly confusing, right? When you're shopping for anything these days, because you want to try to get something that is going to last you for a while, but is not going to break the bank. And well, they keep changing the game. They keep adding new products and they're not very different. And not everyone is tech savvy. You know, gamers aren't all tech savvy. They just want to ultimately sit down and play a game on a decent video card.